Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy CNC. Today we will be doing some adaptive clearing with a finish pass and some chamfering. So let's get started. First, we're just going to make a block. We're going to select the face, sketch. We'll go four by four. Hit enter. Now we will extrude the block up about an inch and a quarter. 1.25, okay. Next, we're going to make a sketch on the face of the block. And we're just going to try to sketch out a cool shape here just to show off the adaptive clearing feature. We'll go 2.75. We'll make a circle. Let's go about two inches. Make another circle. About three. And let's add a little entrance into this pocket. 400 thou. Looks good. 400 thou on the other side. Go up, go up here, oops, delete that, okay, finished sketch, now we'll just extrude these uh, sketches down, I'll select all of them, holding shift and then just clicking on the faces, now we go extrude minus one inch. Okay, now we'll just add some fillets to make the inside of the pocket deeper, no sharp edges. Okay, we'll go about a quarter inch. Okay, we got ourselves a nice 3D model to work with. Now time for some tool baths. Okay, we'll set the stock to zero just for this model. Setup, we'll do selected point and we'll use the corner because that's always the easiest spot to touch off. Z, get that facing right, that looks okay. Hit okay. Next. 2D adaptive clearing. We will create a tool, we'll use a half inch end mill. Okay, that looks good. Next, we will select that face down on the pocket, just like that. Do some speeds and feeds. We're going to pretend this block is made out of Hastoy. So pretty strong material. Go about 90 surface feet, half inch diameter. Five teeth on our end mill. About eight tenths. Feet per tooth. Okay. 688 RPM. All right, so pretty slow. Back to Fusion. 688. And feed rate was it was six. Okay, so we'll be going six, 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 and plunge at ten. Okay, next we're gonna change the optimal load to 100 thou. I think 200 thou might be a little too much for this hastel and material. And we're leaving 20 thou on the walls. Next, we'll do a simple contour. We'll select that right there. Okay. 
check, make sure there's no stock. Okay, that's good. And all of our speeds and feeds are the same. And that looks good. Next, and finally, we'll add the chamfer. Now we don't want to chamfer the entire block, just the pocket. So we'll do open contour and only select the area we want chamfered. So piece by piece, we'll select this entire pocket. Okay, that looks good, accept that. Tool, we will create a quarter inch chamfer mill. That's what I always use. About five thou tip diameter. Okay. We'll make it a 20 thou chamfer. We don't need a huge one. Now time for some speeds and feeds. Quarter inch, four teeth, nine tenths feed per tooth. Three thousand six tenths. Okay, so about thirteen hundred RPM and five inches a minute. Okay. There we go, we can accept that. Looks like you made a good toolpath there. Next, we will do some simulation. Turn stock on. Okay, so it's entering, and it looks like it's taking a hundred thou per pass. Okay, that looks good. So you can try to crank up the step over, but with a material like Hastelloy, it's you know you can damage your end mill pretty quick. So you have to be careful about how hard you go with your end mills. Okay, finish pass, taking out that twenty thou we left. Next chamfer. That looks good. All right, there's our simple uh, adaptive clearing tutorial for Fusion 360. I hope you guys can find some use out of it. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. And